All right, so it looks like Austin Dillon is your 2018 Daytona 500 winner. And before I even move on, good fucking lord, Fox. How many fucking commercials? How many commercials do I have to see with Reba singing Kentucky Fried Chicken, Cookies, Matt Potatoes? Good fucking lord. Jesus Christ. Every four laps, you guys go in commercial. Under with 10 laps ago, before that caution came out with William Byron spinning out uh, in turn four, uh, you guys go to commercial. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. God, no wonder why y'all suck. Anyway, so Austin Dillon, good for him. Thank God, dude. This race was a fucking total wreck fest. End of stage one, big wreck uh, involving Jimmy Johnson. We finally got his way back up to the front after uh, starting the rear of the field. And I even said after uh, in Twitter, you know, he's probably just immediately on his fucking bike riding off to Atlanta Motor Speedway for next week. I mean, that's what I would have done. I'm like, fuck this. You guys are racing like it's the last lap. It's a fucking stage race, guys. It's the end of the stage. How come you guys didn't race this crazy like this last year? I mean, good fucking lord. The, most of the big crashes last year's 500 was like fucking middle of the stage. Or not even. Maybe, yeah, middle of the stage. Or even beginning. And... The second one with Ch Brad Keselowski. Good fucking lord. If I ever in Rochester Hills, Michigan, I'm gonna find a middle I can, make sure it has the number two logo on, I'm gonna take a fucking shit in it. How come. Another thing, Fox, why won't you show. You know, I questioned that last wreck with Austin Dillon getting in the back of uh, Eric Amarola. I couldn't tell from their angle. I don't even know if they're scared. They're being biased or anything, but good fucking lord, you guys won't even show the perfect angle from the looking from the back straightaway into the turn two, coming off turn two. I can't tell looking from the start finish line if Austin Dillon got down on Eric Amarola or uh, Eric just came up on Austin Dillon and just got himself wrecked. I can't fucking tell, Jesus Christ. But. Fox, y'all fucking up, dude. I cannot. This was while well, Not only that both my drivers got wrecked in this race, but, I mean, I guess there's some positive. At least a Chevy won. At least it's somebody I, I kind of like, Austin Dillon. I, I always like Austin. He's that cool cowboy dude. Uh, it's cool to see the number three back in victory lane. I'm not one of those fans say, oh, man, they should have brought, they shouldn't never brought back number three because, you know, that's Dale Sr.'s number. I mean, NASCAR does, I've been a, I was a diehard Gordon fan. And I'm not bitching about Lum Byron taking over the 24. I'm not bitching about his paint schemes being exactly like Jeff Gordon. I think it's weird. I got to get used to it, but it's just what it is. I mean, NASCAR is not like other sports where they retire numbers. It just doesn't happen. Oh, yeah. Austin just said it. Bubba, huge shout out. Man, I was hoping Bubba. He was my last fucking hope. I didn't think Austin Dillon was going to do it, but. I'm looking at the replay right now. I, yeah, I can't tell if Austin gave him a, uh, a bump. I can't tell going into turn three if Austin came down and just clip or just freaking I'm doing a video right now. Oh, Mikey. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, both my drivers got fucking wrecked beginning of the race, which sucked. But at least the good positives. Kyle Bush fucked up early in the race, so that... Shine some light on me, and uh, Ham. I thought Hamlin was gonna win it. I, I was honestly get scared. I even said on Twitter, man, if Hamlin wins, I'm gonna fucking fuck shit up, dude. Fuck the remote's over there. Hold on. Alliance, one, two, that's pretty good. Um, I want to see the replay about standing stupid, but he might need to take some Adderall for that one. But, uh, <laughs> great day. Damn. Got him. What do you see in here? Uh, he says I cut his tire down. It looks like the same movie he put on Blaney and Martin's over. Damn. Damn. Tonight we beat him, so it's all good. Hey, you you beat him though. Says, you beat Dennis the fucking douche. Cool I told you to do. And I'm like, I don't know. I lost my breath. He said, don't wreck the car. And we, uh, 
So thank you to the King for keeping me young, keeping him young as well. But thank you to the King as well for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I don't know how you cannot like Bubba Wallace. He is such a fun dude. How much stress this team has been through um, in the last three or four months just trying to get this program together. So for me to come out here and this hectic three months I've had with the Facebook series, Behind the Wall, Bubba Wallace, check it out. Uh, check it out. Uh, ending for us tonight. Uh, but P2 for my first eight, 500, I'll take it. Chris. He beat Danny Hamlin. Danny Hamlin was trying to. He actually. He literally put him in the wall intentionally. Oh my God! And Bo would still be him. Man, he just called Hamlin out. That's fucking dope. All right. So anyway, my real feelings about this 500 total wreck fest. Um, it was what I expected. Like the Xfinity, the trucks. It's. It's just, it's just a total wreck fest. But my biggest issue, I don't, I don't have a problem with the stages because it wasn't a problem last year with the restricted place races. But good lord, I mean, I guess I'll give them the better of the doubt because it's a new uh, restricted play arrow package with the low high right. But I don't know, maybe they'll improve at Talladega uh, this coming spring. But man, they were not racing like this last year, so. Happy for Austin Dillon. I questioned about that last lap wreck. I couldn't tell if he just bumped him and just Eric got him loose and he couldn't hold on to it or he just flat out dumped him and I don't know how many times I have to hear this fucking commercial. I want to see your ass. All right. So anyway, um, Austin Dillon wins. Good for him. It's cool to see the three. You know, this is ironic too. He has a lucky, I mean, he even said it or Mike Joy said it uh, when Austin Dillon took the check flag. The, when 20 years ago, when uh, Dale Sr. won the 598, he had a lucky penny from a fan uh, on his dashboard saying that he's going to win the 500, and he did. And then so uh, today, uh, some fan of Austin Dillon put a lucky penny on his dashboard for today's race, and uh, you know the story. 20 years later, Austin Dillon brings back the three to Daytona, so that's fucking dope. So, all right. I have mixed emotions. I'm happy for Austin Dillon. I question that wreck. I, again, I can't tell. Fox is being... I think they're being biased. They just want to pick who they win. It's, well, they got Daryl Waltrip out there, so... Anyway. Wild race, as I expected to be. And, um... Yep, that's all I gotta say. So, I'll catch you guys on the next one.